Hello, in this video I wanted to go over our countdown features of our PoE LED digitals and our Wi-Fi LED digital clocks. What I have for you here, this is a PoE clock. So I have an Ethernet cable plugged into the back of the clock going to my PoE switch. This here is a Wi-Fi clock. I have it connected to my Wi-Fi and I have AC power applied to it. These clocks can perform a countdown in two methods. One is manually. You could have cabled or tethered to these clocks a switch controller panel. So all you have to do is click a button and you will start a countdown. That's one method. The other way is to have a scheduled countdown and that's what I'm going to demonstrate for you today using the software, the clock monitoring software. So the first thing is to open your software Put in your username and password and then the software opens up and you see it self populates with all your clocks in your facility. In my case, as you can see here, I have four clocks. Gives me a status of all those clocks, they're all online. Gives me a clock type, I have two analogs and I have two digitals that you see here. I've also named these clocks, you can name them anything you like, whatever makes sense for your organization. Then there's some network information, has the MAC address of the clocks and the IP address. It has the time zone that you want these clocks to display. In my case, I'm uh, Eastern time, so I have them displayed for the city of New York. And then the last time it had an update. When we look over here on the left, we see a countdown button. So I click on countdown and a countdown setting screen appears. So first I would put in the time that I want this countdown to happen. So let's see what time we have right now. We got 5.52, 5.53, let's go 5.54, see if we can get oh, 5.54. All right, then we're gonna select, when do you want this to, to occur? Do you want it to occur on one day? or like December 31st when you're coming into New Year's? Or do you more likely want it to occur Monday, say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday? And then what do you want to happen? Count up or count down? And then how long do you want it to count for? I'm gonna go 30 seconds and a ring time of five seconds. You'll come down to the bottom and you'll select your clocks that you want this to happen for, and then you'll save the update. It will save the update and move that information to the clocks and download it to the clocks. So I have set that for 1754, so we should be going in a countdown right about now. There we go, and we set it for 30 seconds. So it's gonna count down for 30 seconds and then we're gonna hear a ring. Perfect for, say, class changes in a high school. When you want to have these as hallway clocks and you want the students to know, students and teachers, how much time they have left before the next class starts. This can do a countdown at the scheduled time and then give a slight little ring, meaning that you should be in class. There you go. So that is a scheduled countdown. It's that simple. And then the manual uh, countdown procedure is just as simple. You just have to tether this to the back of the clock. Very easy also. So if we can provide you any information, any additional information or a quote, please give us a call at 888-559-5565 or visit us at www.innovationwireless.com